Hi everyone! Welcome back to my classroom. My name is Christine and today we are going to be covering the second video of phrasal verbs with the phrasal verb part. So if you guys have seen the past video then you can see three other examples of using the phrasal verb put. If not, if you didn't see the video, that's okay. You can start from here because these are new verbs. So you can learn these verbs first if you like. So, as usual, let's start with our first example. So, as I shared before, phrasal verbs are verbs that have a literal meaning when you first look at them but they also have a deeper meaning, so they have dual, they have two different meanings. And so what I've done here is that I have taken the literal meaning as well as the phrasal meaning, and so the literal meaning means when you read that sentence, that's what it actually means. Like for example, please put that marker on the table. Here is that marker, you're gonna put it on top of the table. So here's that table, you're just going to put it there. Phrasial means that it's a little bit idiomatic. There's a little bit more of maybe, um, you have to dig a little bit deeper for the meaning um, because it has the, the phrasial verb as a little bit more meaning to it. So let me get back into that by looking at some of our examples. So as I said, we're going, we're working with the phrase put on with our phrasial sentence of put on our first one is I have put on a lot of weight since university so as we talked about with the first sentence of put on here's put and then on over here you have to you take that object you take it and then you put it where you're taught where you put it on the subject. So with the marker, if I'm putting it on my arm, I'm putting the, arm, the marker right here. So when I say I have put on a lot of weight since university, am I taking some weight and then putting it literally on top of me? Technically, no, but it, if you think about it, technically yes as well. So what does it mean? It means that you got fat. So when I say I have put on weight since university, it's kind of a nicer way of saying I got fat since university. So you put on the weight, so the definition means you got fat because just like you put that marker on the table, you're also, as you're eating, the food is just sticking to you and so the weight is just getting bigger and bigger and it's just on you because it's not leaving you. So def definition marker is to get fat. So in this phrasial um, example we oftentimes use weight a lot so you would use put on weight. So Try to memorize this phrase together, put on weight, because a lot of times, English speakers, we use these three words together. We don't really take them, we don't really take them out, um, out of context, out of context, excuse me, um, when we talk about weight. So, put on actually also has another meaning. Um, it's a little bit more literal, but I think it's still um, a good one to review is to put on a clothing item. So let's look at the next example. She put on a sweater to stay warm. So just like this marker we have over here, am I taking a sweater and just putting it on me? No, I'm actually going to wear it. So I have to go through a little bit more of a process, right, to put it to wear the sweater. I'm not just putting it on top of my head when I say I'm putting it on, right? But when you are wearing, when you're about, when you're trying to wear something, you're putting it on. So it's the action of wearing, of first putting on the sweater, of first wearing the sweater. So to put on a sweater means to change 
or to wear it. Well, the process of wearing, I guess, a clothing item. Clothing item. So when you first start, when you're trying to wear something, you're putting it on. You're putting on pants. You're putting on that sweater. You're even putting on makeup. You can say put on makeup. So remember, literal meaning is to just put it on top. But when we try to make the phrasial verb, you can either put on weight, you can get fatter, or to put on, you can, you know, wear clothes. So those are the two meanings. So now that we've covered put on, let's move on to put together. So let's look at the example sentence. Please put together all the markers. So I have my two markers here, and I'm saying put them together. So they are together literal meaning. So just like I stated in the past video guys, when you have phrasal verbs, you can have the subject in the middle of the phrase. Of course here we have them together, but I could say um, put all of the markers together. So I would have the subject in the middle just so you guys can understand for the future. But anyway, put all the markers together, you're putting them next to each other. Okay, phrasial. Put together, we make an excellent team. So what does that mean? Does that mean that maybe you and me, if we're just put together like these markers, that we're an excellent team? Not necessarily. I mean, that's the starting point, right? So let's say, for example, you have a project with your friends. And this is a very big project for class. So there's a lot of work that has to go on with this project, right? Your friends have to maybe do the research, you have to write the paper, maybe some other people have to do the presentation. So everyone doing their work together, everyone is having their own responsibilities and working well. So when you use the phrasial verb of put together when you're talking in about teams a lot, which is what we use a lot um, in English, it really means that, what it means here is that, yes, not only are you, is your team physically together, but it also means, excuse my pen, it also means that your team, that this group of people, so the group of people in the case that we just discussed, it was your teammates for your project, group, maybe, um, group, I would say group working well together. And also, um, having a good sense of responsibility. Because each of you have a responsibility in the project, right? Some of you have to do the research, some of you have to do the presentations. So, there we go. So you all have a sense of responsibility and coming together, you bring all of your talents to be one great team. So let's cover our last phrasial verb, which is put off. So like we discussed before, put on is to put on a piece of clothing. It's to wear a clothing item. So put off, opposite of on is off, right? It's to take off. So literal meaning is actually, it's to put that off. So you have something here, it was put on, put on the table, and then you want to take that marker off, put it off. Put that you put that marker off the table. You can also say with the clothing, clothing item, put that hat off. You have a hat on, maybe you're in a church, and maybe the pastor says, you shouldn't wear a hat in here. Put that hat off. Okay, now here's one that is a little bit different. 
um, and requires a little bit more thinking about the meaning. And that's the phraseal meaning. It is to put off. So we just said put off means you had something here and then you took it off, right? You had something here and I want to take it. So let's have an example of what put off means in the phraseal, way, in the phraseal meaning. So let's say you have a big test coming up and you should have been studying, but you didn't. And so you now have one day until the test and you haven't studied at all. So what would we say in that case? We would say that you put off studying because you were supposed to be studying. That was the original plan for you as a student, but you didn't do it. So in our example sentence, she put off studying and now she will fail. I mean, I would like to be more positive and hope you would pass, but if you didn't prepare for the exam and you only have one day to study, you will probably fail. So the meaning of put off in this sense, the definition is to procrastinate. Now that's a little bit of a big word. So if you guys don't know what that means, it really just means you had something important that you were supposed to do. You said you were going to do it, but you didn't because you thought, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And then it's too late. Um, so procrastinate means you're just thinking, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later. And so you're not doing it now. So once again, put off means to procrastinate. It means to not do it now because you think you'll do it later. So once again, we covered put on, put together, and put off, both literal and phraseal meanings. Um, I hope that this makes sense to some of you guys. We use these phraseal verbs a lot in English, so try to keep practice, try to keep practicing and use these in conversations because the more you use it, the more you practice, the more natural you will get. So if you guys liked what you saw or even didn't like what you saw, please click that subscribe button over here. And if you want to see any of other of our videos, then click over here. We're going to have the links. Thanks, guys.